we have a couple of resources that we will uh, use for churches to help them with some of that work. One of them is called a stewardship navigator. It is an online software uh, that folks are able to create a profile for their church, uh, play with creating budgets, and uh, there's a sample calendar, uh, campaign templates, uh, pew cards, letters, et cetera, all kinds of things you can use uh, for the stewardship program at your church. It is free to set up. You go to that website, stewardshipnavigator.org, and you can create, we recommend probably one profile that is shared among the congregation because at the point when you start, uh, if you can see in the small words there, document storage, when you start storing documents, uh, it's not generally helpful to have multiple versions of a budget, et cetera, stored. And so that is why it's often helpful uh, to have one profile. Uh, another uh, service that we have is something called the uh, Leadership Academy. Uh, Leadership Academy is a series of videos, kind of in TED Talk style, where we'll do many training. It, it's uh, several of my colleagues. I've done a couple uh, where we just present different topics related to stewardship. Uh, you'll see there the website and the registration code of PCUSA. That should be pretty easy to remember, I think, for most folks on the screen. <laughs> and so as you are uh, viewing the videos, you're able to learn little tricks about different topics. We cover things to do with annual stewardship. We cover some of the other topics that are yet to come, such as uh, legacy giving and creating policies and those types of things. So we try to encompass a lot in those videos, and most of them are three to four minutes in length. And so you can spend a day probably watching 15 videos and you haven't wasted that much time, but yet hopefully you have gained a lot of ideas that could be helpful in your church and other areas for stewardship. 